Okay, I'd like to thank you for hearing me. My name is Sean Hurd. I live up on Lafayette Street up here in uh, Bridgewell. I'm having a problem with dogs in the yard, the owners actually. I had dogs for 30 years of my life and never had a problem, never took the dogs onto other people's property. I had hedgerow up that was probably this high all the way around the house. They cut through the hedges, it was all over. I put a very expensive fence in now because my hedges in the front actually V are viewed from the dogs and the owners let them go. I put up a sign that says, please be respectful to keep them off the lawn. They let the dogs go in the sign. So then I, a uh, police officer came up and I asked them what I could, or no, I'm sorry, I asked the scan of the year what I could do, and she said if you have a no trespassing sign, that's probably the only time they could do anything. Put the no trespassing, I even had bad, bad signs on it so that it would get their attention. They still, they actually let them go on the signs and on my fence. I called the police the one day. I, first, I told them, a couple people, please, they, give me that, not my dog. I says, I have video cameras now. I says, you're on video. And they blow me off. They done see gestures. The last one came, and I told one, and I didn't want to get involved with the police. The lady come down, and she, she's got one of them long leashes. The dog's up here, and she's going like this. Dog is on the sign, she keeps walking. And I says, miss. You know, there's signs there, say no trespassing. And she says, my dog, they, I said, here, I'll show you on video. I have video cameras that videotape it. She said, I said, you want them to call me? She said, go ahead. So I called the police. The policeman responded. He tried to tell me, don't make a disturbance. You know, it could cause you problems with people. Don't talk to me usually anyhow. Right. But then he suggested I put mulch around the fence so the dogs can go. And I says, no, this is my property. I just want some respect. Now, I don't know what you guys can do for it. I don't want to be bothering the police to come up there. Can't they do something even about leash locks where if they're standing on the curb, they can't go in my yard? Right now, they've got those leashes that are, I don't know what they are, 30 foot, 40 foot. We just, earlier, it was yesterday, I'm sorry. They went halfway out in the yard, the neighbor's yard. She stood there and watched it. When she went and picked up, but then her dog went up on the porch, running on her porch, and, that, and I thought, Psh. I don't know, running on your porch? Leash the they, no, they, they, they let them in my yard. They let them down my fence in the yard right. whenever they come. And then we ask them to stop. This is one of the other things. We, we have the flat spot that Lafayette Bank and, Ch and um, I don't know what the other street is there. <laughs> okay, yeah. And they just walk around. It's, and they're, they're coming from Upper St. But they come from all over. Right. We've already kind of like 60 people with, and most of them don't just have one dog. Mm -hmm. I just want some respect. This is my property. I don't have to. Why should I have to yell and cause a problem? I, I don't want to. I, I would go in their yard and just. It's we've had a couple of people. It's yeah, that's, yeah, this is my other neighbor, Patty. She's next door. She's asked them and told them. Explain to them, she has raised flower beds, and the dogs go in the flower beds. You're on the corner of Bank Lafayette. and Lafayette. No, Lafayette and Elizabeth. Lafayette and Elizabeth. The gray brick. Okay. Okay. And, and Patty is next door to me on one street. And there's supposed to be another neighbor. And there was the other neighbor coming that's on the corner of Lafayette and Elizabeth, the uh, landscaper. What's it trying to Sir, a lot of what you're describing with messing with your bushes and whatnot and, all, and, and with dogs, that, that's actually the civil trespass on your property. And if they're affecting three of you, you have to do collectively. And you might want to collectively get together and make a group. So, why, why, why do I have, why does Because the document is not the one who has the power over every dispute. When you have a property dispute with a neighbor, you're trespassing. If they're doing stuff in your yard, that's a trespass. And what folks do is they sue each other. They get a lawyer, or they, without a lawyer, you, can go, you don't need a lawyer. You can go to the magistrate and file a civil claim against them for trespassing in your yard. They can't make a leash law or something? So they can't leash do it. See? I mean, a short leash. That we have to look into when we have a limit on how long a leash could be. You know, I, that doesn't solve your problem, anymore. right? Because there's well, if they, if they walk and they have a short leash, then they can keep it out. But they let them loose and they take off and run down. Yeah, what they're doing is they're still disrespecting your yeah. dog. 
Yes. And you don't, whether it's short, whether it's short or long, you don't want them disrespecting your yard. And the lady that did that, she went to every yard on the street. The wife followed to figure out where she lived. She lived, she ended up living on the other end of our street. Mm -hmm. She hit every yard all the way up Bay Street and then Winfield <laughs> and then went in her yard and the dog never stopped. And that's who I called the police on. Uh, yeah, other than what, the, what our solicitor recommended and us taking a look at the leash law, but you know, except we do have a leash law and the only thing we could do is make it a shorter leash. And I don't know if that's something that, you know. What's not even, the, like I said, the people in the street, right. it's they're kind of you know, where they're all coming from. It's There's just too many dogs. Right. You no, know, I know there's a lot of people dog, right. but uh, not yeah. as many that are coming down our street. Right. Sure, at least that will even matter. Yeah, they're still going to. If somebody's going to let their dog do it from here to the umbrella over there, they're not going to let them go from here. You know, you think, but then they'd have to walk in a yard. You think, I just I, 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 I sat on my neighbor's porch and watched people walk down my street and do the, let their dog do the business in my front yard on a short leash. They don't care. You know, they're going to, yeah. Well, the other gentleman that was coming down, he was so mad. He was standing there in his yard. That they let the dog go in the tree right beside him. He was talking to his wife, and the guy stood there listening to his conversation for like 10 minutes. He says, really? You can't even see that we're, we're talking here. And then another one came up on the other side of him an hour or two later, and he says to him, what are you doing? He said, it's not my fault, it's the dogs. You should have a bag to pick up after your dog. That's, well, he, even he picked it up. You can't pick, you can pick the saw the better, you can't pick the leash. wants to say something. Yes. If you have an ordinance, you have an ordinance about leashes, that a yes. dog must be on a leash. Yes. Can't there be an ordinance that it can't go to the bathroom in everybody's yard? Yeah, I think that's, I believe that's on the I think the lease was a state law. I don't know that we have an ordinance about that. Okay. The, we have a, we, we there's a state large. leash. Dog law. can't run at large. Dog we have to be running at large, right. but there are laws that are allowed on the state. We can have a want to take a look at it. And if we have the power to do something, I'll look at yeah. our well, ordinance. Well, let's look into it. In other words, if we are allowed to put a clean up provision in an ordinance, if we can. Yeah. But you can't clean the liquid, like it says. And that caused, I've received my front lawn four times the record. I've replaced all the heads are and everything with fences. Let me confirm that. This is about liquid waste. Well, it's about waste. Yeah, but, yeah. but this isn't about people they're not leaving. picking up. They're, they're leaving, leaving their waste there. Some, some right. don't pick up. If I'm there, they pick it up. They pick that up. I watch some them. don't even do that. Some don't even do that. Yes, you always right. find it in your yard. Yeah. We have the same property in front of the railroad station, in front of the caboose. And we did put signs up. They, we wrote them ourselves, however, did them ourselves, and one of them says, no trespassing. It has cut the amount, but the people still do yeah. it. You but have the sign too saying you're on camera. Hmm? You have the sign saying too you're on camera. <coughs> Unfortunately, the cameras that we have don't mm -hmm. focus we'll, sorry, we'll, we'll, let's, look, let's take a look at it. So we can add Thank you for hearing Thank you. Yeah. Excuse yeah. me, sir. I'm just, well, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm curious. They sell products like to keep animals out of like. Beef. Try to. I really. I right. put cyan pepper by the fence. We put that. Uh, it says gets rid of deers, rabbits, any animals. Uh, put that there. Nothing stops them. Yeah, you want to come look at my garage? I spent a lot of money on that stuff for nothing. We try, and it, we always we ask first. We put up nice signs. We said please, and it doesn't matter. They ignore you. That last one I called, like I said, she just walked down like this with her head up. The dog stopped where you're at, and she kept like this, walking like this, like she didn't see it. And then she had to pull it when she goes. And I, I showed them on a video on that. And that's, I didn't have signs on 24-hour surveillance. And it's, it's nasty. All right. I'm sorry. Yep. Thank you.